Hey there YouTube, ADB024. Just got back from the tax tea party here in uh, Eugene, Oregon. It was held in uh, Springfield, just across I-5. It was a complete success. It was amazing. Couldn't have drained of it going any better. I think we had traffic backed up from uh, Eugene all the way to Portland, from uh, Eugene all the way to Roseburg on I-5. We're talking it was awesome. I uh, I just got back. I mean, I think it's about 10 o'clock at night. I stayed there as long as I could, waving my Gaddison flag, so everyone could see. Don't tread on us. Uh, I, I, there was about possibly 4,000, up to 4,000 people there. I must say, uh, I just watched what the local news reported on it, and the reporting on it sucked. Absolutely sucked. You need to uh, read your constitution, see what your founding fathers actually founded, to learn a little bit about what's happening. Anyhow, here's some footage from it. <laughs> for the government to restrain the people yeah. it is it is rather an instrument for the people to restrain the government yeah. <laughs> lest the government come to dominate our lives and interests we are not weak if we make a proper use of those means which the God of nature has placed in our power. The battle is not to the strong, it is to the vigilant, the active, the brave. And on the subject of tax collectors, I had the privilege of saying this to the Virginia legislature. 
tax collectors may come in multitude for the limitation of their numbers no man knows. They may, unless the general government be restrained by a bill of rights or some similar restrictions, go into your cellars and your rooms and search, ransack, and measure everything you eat, drink, and wear. It is this that brought on the war which finally separated the two countries and gave independence to ours. Whether this will prove a blessing or a curse will depend upon the use that our people make prosperity than a constant and systematic attempt to extinguish the present debt and to avoid as much as possible the encouraging of any new debt. My friend and fellow Virginian Thomas Jefferson, if the debt should swell to a formidable size, we shall be committed to the career of debt, corruption, and rottenness. The principle of spending money to be paid by posterity, by our children, under the name of funding is but swindling futurity on a large scale. And finally, from Mr. Jefferson, to preserve independence, we must not let our rulers load us with perpetual debt. He continued, if we run into such debts as that we must be taxed in our meat and in our drink, in our necessaries and in our comforts, in our labors and in our amusements, for our callings and for our creeds, our people must come to labor 16 hours out of every 24 and give the earnings of 15 of those hours to the government for their nets. The forerunner of this is public debt. Taxation follows that and in its train, wretchedness and oppression. And now for my fellow Virginian, General Washington. Avoid the accumulation of debt, not only by shunning occasions of expense, but by vigorous exertions to discharge all debts, not throwing upon posterity the burden of which we ourselves ought to bear. <laughs> May I close by way of invocation on this assembly? with a prayer of General George Washington. And now, Almighty Father, if it is thy holy will that we shall obtain a place and a name among the nations of the earth, grant that we may be enabled to show our gratitude for thy goodness by our endeavors to fear and obey thee. Bless us with thy wisdom in our counsels success in battle, and let our victories be tempered with humanity, and thou also our enemies with enlightened minds, that they may become sensible of their injustice and willing to restore our liberty and peace. Grant the petition of thy servant for the sake of him whom thou hast called thy beloved son. Nevertheless, not my will but thine be done. Amen. Thank you, Patrick, also known as Norm Fox. Thank you, Norm. The right to be secure in your property is the basis for all rights. If you